is Nellie Banks, 100 years old plus. We're in her home at Pleasant, Pheasant, 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 Pheasant Hills Estate. Estate off of Lingostown Road in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. It's a lovely place, and we're here this morning as part of what we're calling the Centenarian Photo Poster Project. This is uh, photos being taken of centenarians and a poster and calendar which will be created in 2018. So Miss Nellie, how are you today? I'm fine. I'm glad. <laughs> now I have uh, five questions and if you can just give us some of your responses and say it loud enough in there, we can pick it up. The next time I'm going to bring a mic, I forgot to this time, but it's all right. The next time I'll be able to do it. So my first question, Miss Nellie, my first question to ask you is, how can we prepare to live a long life? You've lived a long life. What are some of the things that we can do to prepare to live a long life? Trust in God. Praise his holy name. Hmm? Praise his holy name. Yeah. That's beautiful. Trusting in God. Trust in God. Put your trust in him. Now, number two. Do you have any regrets or things that you would want to change now that you look back? No. Praise God. Praise his holy name. Now let me ask this one. Living to see an African-American president, living to see an African-American president, what has that meant to you? To live to see an African American president? president. Yes, ma'am. I think it's great. Did you ever think that you would live to see that? No, I never thought I would live to see a black man in the White House. <laughs> oh, I know that's right. A black man in the White House. Maybe they should have changed the name to the Black House after they got there. <laughs> well, that's what they call us, black. Yeah, that's what they call us. That's a beautiful mm -hmm. thing. Now, these last two questions are going to require a little, uh, well, just, just you consider it. The first is advice for young people. And when I say young people, that's almost everybody as far as you're concerned. Everybody's young concerned you. What's some advice that you would give to, to young people? The what advice I would give them? Yes, ma'am. Be obedient. Honor your father and your mother. Praise God. And be a good Christian. And be a good Christian. You know, to honor our father and mother was the first commandment with a promise. It says, honor your father and your mother, and the days of your life will be long. Yes. And so, you evidently have followed that one. Yes, I Because did. the days I, of your life will be yeah, long. I tried to follow my follow that. Then finally, finally, if you could offer to Mike and, and I and... To anybody else who might have the opportunity to see or hear this, can you give us three tips, three tips, three insights for life, three insights, three things that have helped you keep going as far as diet is concerned, as far as thoughts, thinking, as far as your uh, choices, can you give us three tips? Oh, well, that's a hard one. <laughs> no, I, what I'll say is to first love yourself. Mercy. Love God and love your neighbor and treat them like you want to be treated. Yes. And be honest. And be honest. You know, Miss Nellie, the, all of what you've given us is written in the book. It's a part of the book that we use as followers of Christ 
a guidepost and, and, and guidelines mm -hmm. and, and instructions into how we ought to live. Yeah. The scripture itself says in 2 Timothy 3 and 16, one of the 316 scriptures, that all scripture is by inspiration of God yeah. and is good for doctrine, for reproof, for correction and instruction into righteousness, that the man or woman of God might be thoroughly furnished to good works. You have been a servant your whole life. You have served folks, helped them, encouraged them. And there's never been a harsh word that I've ever witnessed coming from you. No. Never heard you banter in any kind of talking about people or wasting your time with gossip. You've always been an impeccable dresser and <laughs> always just valued the things that have kept us as a culture, as a race of people. And you see these things slowly eroding. Does it bring sadness to your, to your spirit to see how our values and how our culture is seeming to be like the old folks say, going to hell in a bread basket. <laughs> yes, I think about that too, you know, um, how people live in, in trouble, me in my dress code. I, I grew up, like to dress. I mean, I like, to look different from anybody else. I always, I used to always make my clothes. I just started buying clothes when I moved here, this apartment here. But I always make my own clothes. But I, from a child up, I want to follow Jesus, you know. I never want to do things that other kids do. I. A Sunday comes, I go to church, and Tuesday night I go to prayer meet, go to buy to the prayer meeting. On Thursday night I go to class meeting. Little kid, and when we, or oh, when we get out of the class meeting, there always be a group of us kids. I would walk in behind them, either ahead of them. I never walk with them. Mercy. I don't want to hear what they have to talk about because they never talk about what I want to talk about because I always want to talk about the Lord and they, they want to talk about boys and talk about Word. girls and stuff like that. I never I never go with that. And, uh, and I, I grew up that way. I, and I, as I said, I went to school in my first grade and I love to laugh. I always laugh. And, and the teacher keep me in school and, and beat me so bad I never go back to school. Oh, mercy. I didn't go back to school until I was, you can see it in the thing there, 66 years old when I went back to school. Praise the Lord. But when I went back to school, when I got to school, I went there for the teacher to teach me. The teacher tell me to teach, to teach the rest of them who come to school. To be, you know, because I mean, I had no everything. One lady I used to work for, she said to me, Nellie, why do you always talk about school? Say, so you know how to do everything. I said, well, that's my mother with. I want Praise my, God. I want my own with. Yeah. You know, I want to go to school to see how, what, you know, what it's all about going yeah. to school. But the, then the teacher sit up behind her desk and read her book. And I'm to the table with the group teaching them some of them couldn't a queen among queens and a child of the king. And we love you and there's nothing you can do about it. Bye-bye. Tell everybody bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye. Wave bye-bye. Thank you. That was beautiful, Miss Nellie. Yes, that's beautiful. No, I, I, no, I told him, you know, I said, my, with me, I said, 